Hey, welcome back today to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 13, verses 31 to 33. Let's see what, what happens here. On that very day, some Pharisees came, saying to him, Get out and depart from here, for Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, Jesus said to them, Go, tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must journey today, tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet should perish outside of Jerusalem. So they're trying to scare Jesus. They tell him, by the way, Herod's after you now. You better, uh, you better kind of scoot along here and be out, be done. Go hide under a rock somewhere. And Jesus says, no, I'm not going to do that. In fact, here's how Jesus relates to the government sometimes. Like, Go tell that fox. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to hide under any rock. I'm not going to disappear. What does he say? Go tell him. If, if, if it was from him, you go tell him. Tell him this. I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow. I'm going to continue in the work of God today and tomorrow. Maybe the government wants to scare me. Maybe somebody wants to have me think the government wants to scare me one way or the other. Uh, they want to stop the work of the kingdom. Jesus says, I'm not going to stop the work of the kingdom. I go today. I perform cures today. I'm casting out demons today. I'm loosing people. I'm giving people freedom today. And so that's what I want to do. And I'm not going to be inhibited. I'm not going to start cowering. I'm going to go on and do the Father's work until the moment that I'm nailed down and I can't do it. And so that's what he says. It's interesting that Jesus says at the end he'll be perfected or completed, right? We think that at the end of our life, you know, that uh, there's going to be a bunch of things left undone. And yet, what we find here is that if we're faithful to God today, if we're faithful to God tomorrow, if we're faithful to God the third day, if we continue to walk with him and be faithful, then when we come to the end of our course, whenever that is, it will we'll be perfected. God will, will take and he'll give us the gift of salvation because Jesus is good. It's not because you finished with, you know, 1,842 points. That's not, you know, maybe a game works that way, but that's not the way God works. God's going to look, and he's going to look at your life, and he's going to see that Jesus died for you. Jesus' perfect life is counted in place of your imperfect life. And yes, he's transformed you. Yes, you've, you've come to victory over sin through the work of God in your heart. Yes, but that isn't going to get you into the kingdom. Not, not, not even a fraction. You'll be in the kingdom because of Jesus, because Jesus died on the cross and he never sinned. That's why you and I will be in the kingdom. We will always be, for eternity, we'll be indebted to him for his goodness. And so he will be perfected on the third day. And he, he does. He goes to the cross. He dies sinless. He never chose to sin. He always went around it. He never did it. He always was faithful and true. And you and I, on the day when we die, will be perfected because Jesus was perfected. He is the author of our salvation. He's bringing many sons to glory. He's the captain of our salvation, and we want to simply follow him and be more like him. And so uh, don't be afraid. Don't put in, be put into fear mode. I like this, too, that a prophet cannot perish outside Jerusalem. Uh, that's a sad piece, but it's an important piece. The religious establishment very much, it's, it's, it's kind of a historic pattern here. When somebody comes and upsets the apple cart, when you have a message that's so strong that, that uh, it's going to upset the status quo, you're going to be persecuted and hounded and perhaps killed. So don't worry about it. Be true to the message. If you have to give a loud cry, if you have to uh, give a message that shakes everybody and it shakes people so much that they, they're going to put an end to you. You just go forward and be faithful. God will be your protector. Nothing's going to happen to you until he allows it to happen. So be true. Yes, prophets perish with the religious establishments not too kind to prophets and other workers. But you just be faithful and God's, God will bless you. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be faithful in whatever setting and whatever work we're doing, uh, even if it causes earthquakes and troubles because of the work you are doing, even if you're doing it through us. It's an amazing thing. Do your work. Stir up the pieces. Lord, may those powers be stymied and surprised and stunned and and may your work go forward. Please, Lord, use us as tiny, small, insignificant, and yet you love us and we are significant through Jesus. So use us, Lord, for your glory, your glory, and we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. May his blessings be upon you today.